so tired. Hello and welcome to Wildflowers. Let's talk to Grandma here. Good morning. <laughs> Grandma, I've been, um, I've been thinking about my childhood memories of your garden. Just bursting with veggies in every color. <laughs> I think we could bring it back to the way it was. Are you sure? That's quite a bit of work. What would we need? <laughs> well... For it to be enough to feed us and turn a profit, you'd need to build a bunch more garden beds. That means keeping a compost bin so you can get a whole lot of good soil to fill them. And you'll need to chop some wood to make the beds. Okay. I'm on it. All right. Three more garden beds. Grandma, so... Uh... Can we talk about the fact that I saw you with some people in masks and robes in the woods last night? It would be nice to talk after I've had some tea. Grandma! Oh, yes, yeah, some tea would really hit the spot. Okay. We'll go make that tea, and then we'll have a talk. No, we have the mushrooms, but no rice. Mm. Oh my. Oh, you make a very potent brew. Here's that key to the basements that you asked about. But the hooded strangers? Go on down, my dear. It will all make sense, I promise. Okay. I can't believe you've even managed the farm on your own this long, Grandma. Well, Robert left things in good shape when he passed. And Thomas has been a, a help. More than the help, though, I've missed having company. Alina stops by now and again, but... But it's so nice having you here, honeybee. Hmm... Let's see what we have here. Okay, I definitely have more questions than answers now. Uh, is that a cauldron? Not just any cauldron, your cauldron. What? Oh, no, I'm not a... Witch? Oh, my dear, yes, you are. No layperson could make a brew like that on her first try. I feel as spry as I did 50 years ago. This basement is your sanctum. You have your cauldron, of course. Wait, wait. is Dad a witch or, 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 or warlock or... Arthur? Oh, no. Oh, no, honeybee. He's more conventional. I'm afraid. But I saw that spark of magic in your eyes the first time I held you. I've always known you would be an extraordinary witch. But the coven needs proof before they'll accept you. Coven? Well, those folks in the woods, of course. They put a charm on the bramble wall, so you'll need a wand to open it. This is, uh... Kind of a lot to learn all at once. I understand, honeybee. When you're ready, read this incantation before the special silver willow in the woods. Then you'll have a branch to make your first wand. All right. Grandma says this is my cauldron, but I better wait until I've learned how to use it. Distillery? So, uh, <laughs> is that, like, relating to the, uh, moonshine?
Well, we need to water these. And we have some soil here. Unfortunately, we haven't found any more weeds. There we go. One out of three. Don't pack the soil too tight now. You'll choke the seedlings. Oh, hello, Thomas. I didn't hear you. That's because I don't wear big, clumpy boots like you city folk. Anyway, <clears throat> not a bad effort for your first plot. Wow, you give compliments? Don't make me regret bringing these for you. <laughs> Thank you. But what's the occasion? Hazel's a good woman. Strong. But you don't need me to tell you she's struggling. So when I saw you out helping with the garden beds, well, she's not the only one who appreciates it. I'll do my best with these seeds. Maybe I just don't have a good memory. But when I was little, didn't your farm look different? Probably. I was growing more kinds of crops back then. That was right after my mom left the farm to me. I was ambitious in those days. <laughs> Tried growing a little bit of everything. Now I grow what actually suits the soil. Okay. I think he's warming up to us. Let's plant some more green beans. And uh, why don't we go and see if we can find more weeds today to throw into the compost and uh, turn into more soil so that we'll eventually be able to make more of those garden plots. Not a weed in sight. Well, we will need wood as well. Maybe a little more. Oops, that's all of our energy actually. Oh well. And no weeds. We are getting really unlucky with those. I remember that when I played through the first week or so, I found more weeds practically every day. No berries yet. And no forageables on the beach here. Oh yeah, we do need to remember to look at our map and journal from time to time. Right, let's head on down to the other beach. But first, take a look over here. Anything we can forage? Doesn't look like it. So we'll head on down to the other beach here. 
there's some stuff here. Okay. Let's go over to, uh, to kind of town center. Turn in that fishing quest. see if we can find people to socialize with. Oh, is this closed? Yeah, closed on Thursdays and Sundays. Hey, have you tried Kim's butcher shop yet? There was nowhere on the island to get good bacon until they came along. Now Kai and I can have ourselves a breakfast with the works on the weekends. Good for you. Wonderful. You got the look of a lifelong angler in your eyes now. <laughs> oh, now here's a real challenge. Catching a certain fish is about the right bait, the right place, and luck. I got a hankering for some nice, fresh striped sea bass. They're ocean fish, so you gotta go to the beach. They might go for a worm, but you'll have better luck with this. In the future, you can keep bait fish you catch to try and hook bigger and more valuable fish. Come back when you caught one. Okay, we'll see what I we sure can do. I wish Vanessa would pick a different profession. I think it's making her not like kids so much. And I want grandchildren someday. I remember how much fun you and Hazel had when you were small. I can't help but hope to have that too. No. Let's buy this recipe book so we can turn um, the fish we catch into food eventually and uh, get a better profit for them, hopefully. Oh, just who I was hoping to see. Who? Me? Here, take this to Hazel. Oh, I couldn't. <laughs> Nonsense. Take it. Your grandma and I have a friendly pie rivalry of sorts. This is my answer to her last move. Hey, devastatingly perfect key lime tart. I bake with love, but I also bake to win. Okay, I'll make sure she gets it. Let me know how she likes it. Hmm, let's sell the risotto. It's so, like, cool of you to come hang with Hazel. When I first took over my stall from the last owner, Hazel came and bought chocolate every day. Turns out she doesn't even like chocolate. She just figured if other people saw her giving me business, they would too. Well, I do like chocolate, so you will be seeing a lot of me too. Sweet. No. Let's go talk to Amira. How's the farm? Are you inundated with chores yet? There's not that much to do, honestly. The farm seems so much smaller now that I'm an adult. Hmm. When I first came here, I didn't think I'd have much work either. But living things, plants and people, are always growing, changing, becoming run down. And caring for them takes a lot of time. Okay, that's a pretty, um, unique way to phrase it. You're a recent arrival, right? Did Otto have you play that meet everyone game? <laughs> he sure did, but I found it a good opportunity to introduce myself and the League's mission to the town. Before I knew it, I had four new members. Ah, oh, it's good to know that someone else has had to play that game too. We're not the only one. Good to see you again. Hi! Have you seen the notice board in front of Town Hall? There are always lots of ways to help out in the community. No, I didn't, uh... 
Notice the notice board. Well, do take a look. You can lend a hand and make a bit of spare money, too. Alright. We'll have to remember to take a look at it. Maybe tomorrow? Okay, so I met everyone in town and reported back to Otto. So, is he super into keeping tabs on everyone? More than the last mayor, I guess. But strange things do happen here sometimes. Things you can't really explain. We gotta look out for one another. So you came here to take care of your grandma? That's really nice. You sound disappointed. It's just that it's less fun to prank people who are really nice. I could try being less nice. Thanks, but that's okay. Emmy and I already have lots of people to prank. <laughs> Does that mean that there are lots of people here who aren't really nice? Hey, so my mom says your grandma's sick, and that's why you came here. Yeah, I came back to take care of her. That's nice. I visited my Nona in Italy when she got sick, too. Well, technically, she was my dad's Nona. I'm sure she was really happy to see you. I don't really know. I don't speak Italian, so I didn't know what anybody said. At least you and Hazel speak the same language. That's a good point. No. Hazel is a dope old lady. You're lucky having a grandma like that. What? Not a big fan of your own grandparents? Um, my mom's parents died when I was little. And my dad's parents can't visit much because of visa problems. Oh. I'm sorry for bringing it up. No, nah, it's, it's cool. Hazel's the communal grandma. Aww. Juliet's, like, always staring at Sebastian. Then, the minute he looks at her, she looks away. Well, looks to me like she's uh, staring at her phone right now. So yeah, it's not all um, fun and games. So, how are your parents? Oh, um, I'm realizing I don't know their names. I always called them Mr. and Mrs. Doll. It's all right. You could call my dad Marcus now, if he still lived here. He's in a retirement home in Milkwater. And Lisa, that's my ma, passed away eight years ago. I am really sorry to hear that. It's okay. All in the past, right? Yeah, people have their own stories and, uh, and, um, happinesses and sadnesses that we will get to hear about as we get to know them. No weeds here either. Though there was another peanut. And let's go get our wa Oh, hello kitty. Now we'll go get our wand. Uh, let's see. The inscription says, If I be worthy, ancient tree, give a silver branch to me. Please? Wow! I, I mean, uh... Uh, thanks, magic tree! Alright. Now we'll have to show Grandma the wand. We'll do that tonight. That'll lead to a series of little quests that we'll need to do. So... It'll be nice to get that series of quests started tonight.
Is your wand ready? Yes. Look. Careful where you point that thing. Oh my, you have a lot to learn. It's time for you to meet the coven. Are you ready to go? Sure. Let's go. Okay. The brambles only allow friends of the coven through. So this incantation helps it to identify you. Once it meets you, it'll know you're a friend and let you through from now on. Say the spell when you're ready. I think we're ready now. A friend of the coven comes to you. Unravel your brambles and let me through. Oh, it worked! Well done. Now, let's head on up. <sighs> Grandma, what is this place? Who are these people? Shh. You've got to be properly introduced. Who approaches the sacred circle? I bring one who wishes to know the mysteries of this coven. Um, hi. Welcome, Initiate. Elder Hazel has told us so much about you. I am the High Priestess of this coven. Before you can join us, you must vow to never reveal the location of our circle or the details of our rights to any others. Do you promise to abide by our covenants? Sure. Um, I promise. I'm so excited that I'm a witch. This is going to be so much fun. Uh, uh, about that, honeybee. You're not a witch. Not yet. First, you must cast the initiation rite. Oh, okay. Um, but how do I, how do I do that? Speak to the Farseer over yonder. He will explain the art of incantations. We got... A boost harvest potion recipe. More produce out of a single harvest. That'll be useful. Now, let's go talk to this person. Are you the Farseer? What? Yes, yes, Farseer, that's me. No, I'm nearsighted. Farseer. <laughs> you know, you sound a little bit like... You have no idea who I am? I'm wearing a mask. Listen, do you want to sit here playing guessing games? Or do you want to learn more magic? Magic. Great. I'm going to teach you the art of incantations. Mm, tricky stuff. Mess it up, and there won't be much left of you beyond dust. That sounds a bit dangerous to start with. Only to fool initiates that don't follow instructions. Now, listen closely. Are you ready? I'm ready. Great. I need you to chop lots of wood. What? Turn it into paper. Right. You'll need a paper press. Put it in your tool shed. How will this help me with incantations? All will be revealed. <laughs> One of us is clearly crazy. I'm beginning to think it's me for listening to you. Okay. We'll need to bring him some paper. I'm not one to mind rules, but you should keep away from the standing stones. You're not ready for that yet. Gotcha. Keep away from the standing stones. I guess that's those to the left there. So now it is already 10 p.m. We'll pick these and uh, run back home. It's fast approaching bedtime. Though, I guess we do have enough time to craft a couple of pieces of paper. So we'll head to the tool shed and do that. And then we'll go to bed. Tomorrow, we'll... 
do some fishing. And um, then take the uh, pieces of paper to the farseer. Two. We'll only make two because we are also going to need wood for other things. Now, let's save the game here for now and uh, continue from this point tomorrow. Thank you for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. I'd like it if you'd leave me a like. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you next time.